Russia is going to try to enhance this escalation of, of tensions by creating an oil crisis. They're going to end up taking or try to take control of the Ukraine. Saudi Arabia reportedly considering accepting Chinese currency instead of U.S. dollars for its oil sales to China. This would be a huge change. For almost 50 years, Saudi Arabia has traded oil exclusively in U.S. dollars. The petrodollar, and it's a deal we made with Saudi Arabia that oil could only be purchased in U.S. dollars. Okay, so everybody had to hold those dollars because if you wanted oil, it could only be purchased in U.S. dollars. You think there's inflation now? Wait until half of the countries of the world no longer need to use the dollar. I believe I had probably one of the most vivid, detailed dreams that I believe is from the Lord uh, regarding an unfolding of events from this point forward. And um, I and my family, or my family and I, were up in Moravian Falls um, recently, and while I was there, I had this dream. I had this dream on early morning, March 25th, 2022. And in the dream, I saw a unknown man who was dressed in a black suit and he held a $50 US bill in his hand. And the dream consisted of him tearing the $50 bill in three different stages and after each stage, I was handed uh, by random people who came up to me to hand me newspapers, national newspapers here in the United States with various unique headlines. So he stands in front of me and he takes the $50 bill and the first tear, he tears off one third of the $50 bill. And when he did, this is when people started coming up to me, bringing me national newspapers, one right after the other, with headlines that I could all read and were very vivid in my memory. And as soon as, of course, I woke up, I, I wrote this down. But the first one said, after he tore the $50 bill, one-third off, the headline read this, the dollar drops 30% in value. And a subtitle to the headline was Mideast Oil Strikes Deal with China Instead of the U.S. Hello, I said Roth here with Shane Warren, and Shane had a vision of the future of America. I was caught up and I was sitting in a room uh, with world leaders. Uh, I, I can tell you that China was there, Iran was there, Russia was there, and here's what's amazing. Putin was there. What was going on with this meeting? In this meeting, these world leaders were talking about how to devalue the currency of America by buying oil on another currency, with another currency. And somehow or another that would drive down the value of the American dollar. There shall be a break in the financial system in the Middle East, the dinar. I was carried above a, a, a table with Putin and, and four others. I did. I saw them writing things which I am not permitted to speak now. Otherwise, I won't be alive next week. I then was given another headline which said, quote, the perfect storm, unquote, subtitled, inflation reaches a new high. I thought I had fallen asleep when in reality I was in a vision, an open vision. I have a large screen television in my living room. I was sitting on the couch watching television and again I thought I was dreaming 
As I watched, there was a, a weather broadcast that was on television, and there was a news anchor who said, the most amazing thing is going on right now. It, it's tragic, it's tragic, and they were building this, this news broadcast around this event. And they, uh, he said, normally hurricanes hit on the coastal lines. He said, but there is a hurricane that seems to be spreading down or, or coming across the heartland of America. At that point, he showed a satellite image of America, and I was horrified as I watched a storm covering the northern, from the northern border to the southern border, from east to west, as this massive storm with the eye right over the center of America, a hurricane coming across the center of America. How can that be? Uh, well, uh, it, uh, this is how I believe it happened. Immediately it came back to this anchor. The anchor said, we have somebody on the ground in the eye of the storm. We're going to go to him now. They pitched it to a news reporter. This news reporter in the eye of the storm, and as you would see in a hurricane, the wind is blowing violently and they're being tossed to and fro. He said, this is the most amazing thing. I don't understand it. This is not a natural storm. That was his words. He said, this isn't normal. He said, look at what it's raining. And he reached down on the ground and he's picking up and he holds in his hand a fist of $1 bills. He said, this isn't, this isn't natural. It's raining dollar bills. And the anchor and this correspondent went back and forth about the meaning of this dollar bills. He said, I don't understand. It's almost like they're worthless. They're worthless. These storms are seven different storms coming together to make a perfect storm. I believe you'll be given wisdom by the Lord as to how to process and potentially thrive in the coming perfect storm that is brewing in this nation and beyond. I had a financial planner the other day ask me, will there be stagflation or deflation or inflation or hyperinflation? And I had to look at him and tell them, it's going to be all of these. This massive storm suddenly started lifting people. And I thought, God, would you please help them? And then another person came up to me and handed me another news headline, which said, quote, food shortage crisis as wheat and bread imports are at a stalemate. These storms are actually going to dramatically cut into various harvests and national food shortage will uh, happen as the food storage program begins to be depleted. Another headline was then handed to me, which said something like, quote, riots and civil unrest as citizens demand entitlement checks. I saw with that riots begin to break out. Major cities all over America broke out in riots. People were rioting in the streets and, and on the sign is give us our entitlements. Give us mm. our entitlements. And, and it was literally war. I mean, it looked like civil war. Uh, within our borders, but it was all over the issue of the, the devaluing of money. We are going to see the worst riots in history. Some may call those uh, race riots, but they actually may be more economic in nature. Then in the dream, the attention was brought back on the man dressed in the black suit who held the $50 bill. This time he tore the $50 bill in half. And when he did this, an earthquake happened under my feet. Another person walked up to me and handed me a headline which read, quote, Israeli and Palestinian two-state solution reached, unquote. And then another person came up to me and gave me a headline which, hand, which said, quote, major earthquake hits the middle of the U.S. It came back to the anchor. He said, ladies and gentlemen, another tragedy has hit America. He said, right in the heartland of America on the New Madrid Fault, a major earthquake has just hit and immediately pictures of devastation show, uh, uh, began to pop up all over America, the heartland of America, along the New Madrid Fault as earthquakes caused entire cities to, cr to crumble. 
And while I was sitting there, I heard a booming voice in behind my ear that said, they have divided my land, now I will divide their land. And Leviticus says that Israel is God's land. He actually says, this is my land. But they're going to happen, the quakes. Uh, the volcano is going to happen. Earthquakes will begin to strike not only coastal areas, but even the Midwest will experience a devastating one. In fact, the Midwest may experience one before any coastal city does. A volcano will erupt and begin to become active and eventually erupt in the United States again. There are two E's that I see. One E is the word erupt. The other is earthquake. Many are prophesying about earthquakes, but there is a national park where there is an eruption under the earth for it to come out. And many say it is just simply an eruption, but it is not. It is a sign that I shall contain that which would try and be destructive in this nation. A volcano as a sign. And then there will be another earthquake, says the Lord. Keep your eyes open, for this sign is to cause the earth to yield of its produce, that the great E may come forth rapidly. Then the man in the black suit took the rest of the $50 bill and he started tearing it in smaller pieces. So the first time he tore it, um, tore off one third, the second time he tore off half of the $50 bill. And now he takes the rest of the $50 bill and tears off uh, in small pieces, one by one. And then another person walks up to me and hands me another headline which read, quote, America in pieces. I saw the incredible uh, changes in the prices of currency. I saw silver, not gold, but I saw silver begin to drastically uh, increase in value. Not gold, but silver, which to me is, a, is against my natural thinking. I don't really right. fully understand. I'm Most not an economist. I'm a preacher. Uh, well, I can tell you this. 20 years ago, I had a dream. I've only had a few dreams in my life in which God has come to me and spoken very, very, not symbolically, very clearly. And he told me the same thing. The dollar is going to begin to lose value and it's going to become near on par with the peso and the Canadian dollar. One of the major things that we're going to see be being made uh, a big to do in our news cycles is how much Chinese and foreign money has influenced our politics and our elections. I saw an exposure of ch particularly Chinese money and bribery. And the beginning of this will be a major opening up of the exposure that will begin the downfall of the Biden administration. The Hunter Biden laptop case that was uh, suppressed before the 2020 election is about to be opened up. It's going to be an issue that will be in the news and it will take a centerfold place in the news and it will tremendously hurt his father's credibility and past claims. It will ultimately be the beginning, and I'm standing on this, what I said last year and what the Lord has shown me. This will hurt his father uh, to the point to where Biden will lose power and will be out of office before 2024 election. You're going to see a shaking in the government like you've never seen before.
There will be many more reports of new political corruption that, that is going to be uncovered at, uh, uncovered at very high levels. Islam will launch an initiative to have a president in the White House by 2024. ISIS is a problem, but it's not the only problem. And they shall raise up families that shall stand and attempt in the second presidency from now. And they shall be called another name then. But they shall attempt to do something in the White House. They have watched all your movies, how the White House has been taken down. And they have dreamed their dreams. Summer, let the light shine and expose and reveal and destroy a new group that did not prosper of terrorism. But as you see the summer unfolding, there shall be a shocking event that shall expose and suddenly it shall be like a ripple effect, a domino effect. One thing shall be revealed, then the next thing, and then the next thing. And during that time, I will shower Israel and my people with blessings upon blessings. But there shall be a strike in the summer, a strike so hard that it shall send reverberations throughout the Middle East and even to the very White House. As I have said throughout the summer, there shall be one exposure after the other. And they shall discover four things up through the summer and they will expose what is happening in the white house okay what is the hope that you also were shown by god oh churches became cities of refuge and it was the government wasn't helping people with need Churches were helping. All of a sudden, the need. body of Christ stood up like a mighty sleeping giant in the earth and began to. I feel the anointing on me right now as I'm me talking too. to you. Begin to 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 minister, and people were coming to them. And I saw signs and wonders and miracles being poured out all over America. I saw America being shaken as the world couldn't go to the government anymore. They had to come back to to the church. For help. What, what kind of glory did you see going on in the church? What kind of fire? I saw God? literally like cities of refuge. I, I, entire cities became cities of refuge, where it, where the scripture talks about there was rain in one city and not no rain in another mm. city. I saw that as si people were plunging into these cities because there was life there, there was glory there, the presence of God was there, there was peace there, and they were running to that, and revival was taking place. In this time of shaking, you're going to begin to find out that there are those whom the Lord guides in a way to where that uh, they prosper in a time of shaking. Uh, they're going to need to it. I see these evangelists will lead them to the Lord, and I believe at this time there'll be a greater wealth come into the church than it ever has been before. But I'll tell you, the devil has no problem in supporting his kingdom. Now get ready for the Lord to support his in a time of shaking. There's going to be so many things. It's going to be more difficult than ever to forecast investments. But know this, God will guide those investors that he can trust. Those that he can't trust, then he will not bless them as he would love to. There are Christians out there that's working on uh, uh, things that I believe we're getting ready to break through. It'll bring the wealth of the world in. Uh, there are people that's working on coal fusion, which is simply water, but dividing oxygen from hydrogen, which will be some of the greatest uh, energy you've ever seen. It's unpolluted. I believe we are on the verge of that. The Spirit of the Lord says there is darkness that is emerging. a place that they call white that God said America I am not going to judge you I'm going to chastise do not despise the chastisement of the Lord for the earthquake that, that has come shall release energy from a place 
that has been held deep in the earth. Why do you think that there are now eruptions? The new source of energy shall come from deep within. It has been held for millions and millions of years for such a time as this. Do you realize, says the Lord, that you are living at a time that was spoken of by the generals of yesterday. God says you have come to a place where I will unlock a key where you will be free from your debt to the Middle East. You'll be free from your debt to China. You'll be free from your debt. And let them laugh, says the Lord, and say this shall never happen. Just watch me now as I take this thing and that which is meant for harm shall be for your good. America, your best day is upon you. I will bring the betrayal out. And in the summer months, you will look and say, it's rebounding, it's rebounding. Things are coming back, things are coming back. Look as I point to the fire. And they'll say, the fire has been pointed to. And I will take men who have been astute and prudent in their dealings with finances. And I will make them billionaires, millionaires, and extremely influential and wealthy. Look to the fire point. It's pointing to the fire. It shall be an investment that you shall capture and make the money to make you debt free. And revival was taking place. We need to be ready because the harvest is coming. Spirit of God says, prepare yourself, let on earth, for that which I did in the 60s and the 70s. I have revealed that this is that time again, but it shall not be like restricted to just a few continents. This movement, says the Lord, will begin again in California. And there shall be an economic boost in California. And America shall look at California and say it's impossible. Look at the economy rising up. And I shall rejoice for it shall not be as a result of the economist but it shall be as a result of the movement that is beginning to take place like it unto the Jesus movement they shall say what must we do next they shall take over the internet they will take over the internet and then it shall go viral and they shall say Jesus is cool and they shall speak that name and it shall go from house to house and my fire shall consume the criminal activities in California. And then it shall spread to New York. Then it shall spread to the South. And I will unbuckle the Bible belt. I will unbuckle the belt that is in the Bible belt. And they shall explode with joy. For this nation is ready for the greatest breakthrough ever. And it shall be called a revolution like never before. Another Jesus revolution. So here's the overview of the entire timeline. In this portion of the video, I'm going to give a very short recap called Key Takeaways. The very first thing on this timeline that's going to take place is called Middle East Oil Breaks Financial System. And this will happen within the next two years. And here's why. Once the Middle East begins to sell their oil and other currencies besides the U.S. dollar, it will not only cause severe inflation to our dollar, but it will also force the Iraqi dinar to revalue. Exposure. Now this exposure is going to take place to Joe Biden in the summer of 2024. Green energy. Now after the exposure takes place next year, the green energy stocks will begin to rise. Kim Clement said, This investment will make us billionaires and millionaires. It will also wipe out our national debt. Harvest and Revival. Now this is the main point of all of these prophecies and this whole video, this timeline, and for all of this shaking to happen. 
Everyone is going to be needed for this massive revival that's soon to take place. Kim Clement prophesied the heart of God whenever he said, I want you, every one of you, my people, to be able to stretch out your hand to the lonely, to the hungry, to the poor, and feed them and clothe them. This is my desire, says the Lord. Therefore, there shall be a break in the financial system, in the Middle East, the dinar. So you watching and listening to this video right now, do not think that you are too small for God to use. God said, every one of you, my people. So this was just a small recap of the key takeaways. We're going to be doing a deep dive into these key takeaways and really explain how it's going to take place. We know the timeline now of when these events will occur. If you want to know the details on how this will take place, it'll be in a part two in a separate video. So if you want to hear these details, I'll make sure and put it in the link in the description below. I believe we are coming upon a perfect storm as we see these events unfolding in the world. I don't believe America will be exempt from this. And I really think that we really need to be in prayer and preparation and warning people around us that although this will turn out to be successful, there's going to be some bumpy roads ahead.